This morning in SEL, we're going to focus on our champion tip of the month, which is random acts of kindness. And that goes really well with February being the month that we celebrate Valentine's Day and friendship. So this morning, we're going to begin by watching a video about kindness. We're going to listen to how some other kids describe or define what is kindness. Most of us know what kindness is, but sometimes we have different definitions and that's okay. So in this video, we're going to hear from lots of different little kids and what they think kindness is. So we're going to focus our attention. We're going to focus our attention, not a response, sit correctly, show respect. And we're going to listen and then think about some ideas that you have of what is kindness, what are acts of kindness, how can you show kindness to other people in your own life. Make sure our bodies are sitting up, focusing, Maverly, make sure you're ready to go. And let's get started together. take one of my things to borrow it and they respect it without breaking it then that means it's kindness to me. Kindness is being a good person to others. Once I want to respect other good person to be to do my sweet and uh, sweet of my being nice to people but say whenever someone gets hurt like I help them I bring Once I help uh, somebody at my school to tie their laces. My parents work very hard and when they come back from home, I leave them a letter on the dining table and I say I love you and sometimes I say I'm sorry. Um, my mom, when she's cleaning my room up, I help her. I help her cook like muffins. You try and help as much as you can. You have to be a good friend. So that was a really sweet video of kids. I even noticed there's some kids not speaking English. Two of the children were speaking French. So kids all over the world are thinking about kindness this month because February is the month of Valentine's Day and lots of people think about friendship and showing love and showing kindness to people around us. So today in Seesaw, we get to record our ideas of what kindness is in a really fun way. Today, we're going to do something called an acrostic poem and we're going to write down ideas that start with these letters. So this word says kindness, and then on each line, we're going to write either a word or a phrase all about kindness, but it has to start with that letter. So on the top line, you need to put an idea that starts with K about kindness. It could be one word, or it could be a phrase or a sentence. Okay, so for example, the letter I, the letter I, I'm thinking about including others. 
right? <laughs> Including others that recess is a way to show kindness and it starts with the letter I, okay? So we're going to write a poem and you have to follow the first letter. There are gonna be all of our ideas about kindness, friendship, showing love and respect since tomorrow we get to celebrate Valentine's Day. Yes, Nick. What's a phrase? A phrase is a group of words. So it can be one word or a group of words like my idea when I say including others. That's a phrase. Ashley. Tomorrow is the 12th, but on Sunday yeah. is Valentine's Day and we won't be at school. Okay, so Sunday is the 14th, but we won't be here. So Friday is our closest day to celebrate friendship, acts of kindness, and tomorrow on Seesaw, we're going to do something fun that everybody gets to participate in, even virtual kids. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and open up our Seesaw task. Go to activities, please. Click on assign to class and light blue SEL. Well, I messed it up, boys and girls. Let me put it in your folder really fast. Yes, because it's not in your folder, though. So I'll go ahead and fix that as you're looking for it. I apologize, friends on Zoom. Here we go. I'll put it in our SEL folder so everybody can find it. There we go. My apology. Okay, now when you click on activities and assign to class folder and SEL, you will see it first. It's called kindness acrostic. Acrostic is a type of poem. It describes the poem that we're, we're creating today. And it means that you start with a word like kindness and every line follows the letter. So it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it up together. And here you will see the letters K I N D N E S S that spells kindness. Don't forget that everything you write, it needs to start with the letter I. So we can put my example here if you would like to. So include others. That's my example for the letter I. If you would like to use that example, kindness, kindness to me means I include others. That's an example and it starts with I. So I put it next to the I. So your job is to start thinking about other ways to show love, other ways to show kindness, other ways to show friendship and think, how could we say it with a K? How could we say it with the letter N? How can we say it with D, N, E, S, S? Notice we have two Ns and two S's. We have to think of lots of ways to show kindness with N and S. I'm gonna go ahead and pause our recording and give you some time to think and talk with others about how can we come up with a kindness poem? Okay, together we can share out ideas for the kindness poem. I will call on as many kids as I can, and I will type one idea, but you can be listening in case somebody else says an idea that you like better, you can type that in yours. So let's go through the letter K. A hand up if you have an idea for the letter, letter K. Theo. Letter K. What did you say, Theo? 
Jay says kindness. Is that what you were thinking, Theo? Not sure. We'll come back to Theo. What'd you think of Angela? So kind or kindness. Did anyone put anything different for Kay that you want to share? Kaylee put her name into the poem. She said, Kaylee is kind. I thought that was an excellent way to include herself in the poem. For letter I, I thought of include others. Did anyone come up with a different thing for the letter I, a way to show kindness? Different than I, include others. Yes. Okay, thank you. So thinking about the letter I, include others. Looks like everybody maybe used that one. I is a hard one. That's okay. How about this letter N here? Letter N. What, what are some ideas we had for N? Gloria. So nice is a word a lot of us thought of. Anything different? I think Gloria said friendship. Anything different than the letter or the word nice? Angela? Nice gifts. Oh, Angela thought of nice gifts. When we give nice gifts to people, it makes them feel loved. So I could put that down at the next end. Nice, nice gifts. Okay, Maberly in. Okay, Any, anything else for the letter in? Okay, let's go on to D. Did you have in? No, okay, letter D. Nick. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Who else has a letter D? Kaylee? Don't shove people when you're trying to get in line, Jay. Don't kill people, right? We know that is not showing kindness or safety. Angela. Do helpful things. Do helpful things. So I heard some do not do this. And then Angela thought of a positive do helpful things. All right. So. You can do anything you want for letter D. A lot of us said something like, do not be rude. Do not be rude. That's what a lot of us thought of. I did like that Angela did a positive, do kind or helpful things. Yeah. Good. All right, the letter E. A lot of us struggled with E, Alicia. Empathy, that's a word we talked about in second steps. To show empathy means you can feel what other people are feeling. That is a great way to show kindness. If your friend is having a hard day, maybe you're having a great day, but you can still say, I can see that you're having a hard time today. Show empathy for what other people are feeling. Now we have two S's. I just thought of one when I was doing. Who has a kindness that starts with S? Nick. Spread kindness. Spread. Spread kindness. Spread it around. That's a good one. Day. Share your work when classmates need help. Jonathan, what are you going to say? Share. Share. Not just work, but just in general. Share your stuff. Let's Alicia. Stop. stop bullying. When you see people being bullied, you can stop it. Any other S? Day. Yes, bodies need to be sitting in a third grade 
way. One I thought of is say. I love. Kind words. Say respectful words, right? So I heard a lot of sharing. So I'm going to put sharing. I heard a couple friends talk about sharing. That is a way to show kindness is to share. I put share. That's okay. It's the same. Okay. We have now shared out different ways to show kindness. I will want you to take one more minute. Make sure your poem is ready to go. Then you can turn it in with the green check and we'll get ready for our reading lesson. Um,